Hello friends, is it necessary to use minoxidil and finasteride before surgery, during and after? The answer is yes. Now pros and cons will discuss, okay? Some doctors may differ. Number one, why minoxidils or other serums which increases vasodilation, it increases angiogenesis. See what I want is, I want to make this field fertile. So when we implant the graft or existing graft, they should get good blood supply, good oxygen, good nutrition. If long time your hair is bald, the body says, I don't need to give so much blood supply to it. Okay, why should I waste? So for preparing a scalp before surgery, it's very critical to use certain serums, which vasodilates, give more blood supply, create more angiogenesis. Before you sow the crop, the seed, you want to make sure the crop, the, the, the land is fertile. So now you understand why you need before it. Okay, what does minoxidil and these serums do? They, if this is your blood supply, they dilate it. Maybe new ones will also come, okay? Some other serums, they may stimulate stem cells. Some other new, uh, supplements may counter free radicals, okay? So it's a little bit science behind it. Finished right. Majority of the people who are having hair loss are androgenetic alopecia, male pattern baldness, genetic component, hormonal component. So if you do nothing, it's going to keep burning and it's going to keep destroying your hair follicles. So you can have a good doctor will tell you how to use finasteride correctly, what dose to use correctly, okay? And he may give it for three months and switch off for three weeks, okay? Or he will he may do your blood test to know your hormonal status, you know, DHTs, free testosterone, etc. Okay, he will take a detailed history that you don't have any sexual side effects or something already, okay? So your doctor will decide what is the right dose for you, whether you should take it or not, how long you should take it, why do you have a three weeks break after taking thin, uh, for three months so that wherever the finasteride is stored inside is flushed off, okay? Of course, you cannot take it if you're planning a baby two, three months, okay? Or if you have a side effects, then you don't take it. But everything has side effect. You know, PR ke bhi side effects, marriage ke bhi side effects, kuch bhi kaam karo uske side effects, right? So, aisa to nahi ki agar ek paani de diya, if I give you water, I tell you this side effect can happen. So, a lot of people who have nocebo without psychological side effects. So, it is being used worldwide for 60 years. It is well proven. Only 3-4% people may have side effects. And if there is a side effect, it will go away if you stop it, okay? So, yes, but a qualified proper doctor who has good knowledge about finasteride, you should talk to him and take it. It's very, very important, especially 20 to 35 year old age group. You don't need after 45, okay? Anyway, 40 ke baad, testosterone anyway goes down. So this 20 to 35 year old, because this DHT is creating havoc on your scalp. It will finish off your hair. So you have to do something to stop it, okay? Otherwise be ready to knock it off, okay? So of course, if you are really bothered about it, then you may not take it, but as a doctor, one would recommend it, okay? Number one, if you're worried, I don't want to take tablet, then you can put topical. So only 20, 25% may go inside, okay, and slowly. And now there are some injections available which will not go inside the blood to counter the DHT. Now the deuteride injections are available. So their, their size of the molecule is big. They don't go inside your blood. So they only act locally. So maybe once or twice a month you can have those injections till you are 35 or maybe once in three months so that you're not taking orally, you're not putting topical, you can take an injection which will not go inside, okay? So this is very, very important because if you don't stop your hormonal damage, they go to take away your hair. Now, after, once we have implanted, see, a lot of people say that this should be permanent, but it's not so. Only maybe occipital region a little bit could be permanent, but we are seeing post-COVID, people have been getting thin hair over here, okay? So if we relocate them over here, they may still die. Of course, they get DHT resistance, they may not fall so easily, but they do fall also, okay? So it's a very highly advised to put a cover, you know, the dome cover of missile. Finasteride is like the dome cover through the missiles. Minoxidil is like the nourisher. Supplements and vitamins are like boosters. So avoid the danger before it comes. So counter your DHT or the hormonal damages to your hair follicle and increase blood supply and nutrition through other serums. So yes, we highly recommend it. Yes, if you don't want it, it's an option. You can just continue minoxidil. Minoxidil, if you cannot put daily or some serums, the tablet form is also available. So sometimes you can take tablets, sometimes you can take 
uh, on topical it's up to you whatever your convenient but again in consultation with your doctor because anything can have side effects but even antibody you take can have a side effect right so don't worry about one or two percent side effect if you have then they'll stop otherwise use its benefit at least when you are in the zone of losing hair you know and at least six months post hair transplant when new hairs are grafted they need the maximum support don't start something suddenly of course nutrition health fitness is equally important so this was all about the role of minoxidil and finasteride and why it's so important before during and after hair transplant